Hi, my name is Maria Van, and I've just called the NDIS because I need to make a uh, an appeal to the tribunal for being not accepted four times. My care team, like my doctors, my neurologist. My psychs all are not happy with the decision that I've had for claims that haven't come through. I'm going to read a list of my disabilities and not understanding why they're saying that this isn't a permanent condition because many of them are syndromes and many of them are disabilities. But The two worst would be the chronic migraine and the dystonia, which you just saw then. So I have clinically diagnosed depression, and I've known that since I was very young, um, probably five, but I remember being diagnosed around the age of 20 when I had my daughter, 23. So I was around there, but I, I so yeah, 23. I have clinically diagnosed depression, essential tremor, let me try and stop the phone shaking. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder has developed in the last two years since I lost a lot due to an over-injection by a neurologist in Townsville. I have dis chronic migraine disorder, thoromandibular upasviacal upper dystonia, ADHD, which I just found out about too. Dyslexia, which I just found out about after finishing my degree and not being able to work for two years. I have sensitized sensitivity syndrome, which means I feel pain, physical pain more than others. Persistent dry eye, a back disability of 56% mainly around my L4, L5 regions. Dysphagia, GERD, which is a reflux problem. I have to sit up and eating is painful for varying reasons and sit up for 40 minutes after I eat. I have up this ulcer. My ulcers, I need to document more because they are pretty severe and when they break out, it's like 10 days of agony needing medication. I um, have neck disability in the C1, C2 and C3 joints from domestic abuse and a essential tremor, which you've seen. I, um, I try to keep a positive attitude. It's getting a lot harder to do that at the moment because I need support. I live alone and I'm trying not to be the sort of person that complains but when I get on the phone to these companies and I'm sent to websites time and time again and I have extreme medical bills it's really hard to do what they want me to do because I also have chronic fatigue syndrome which you pain will wear you out I eat well my daughter's a dietitian so she helps with that and movement exacerbates so I'm gonna try some swimming but let's see how we go with that exacerbating like movement exacerbates dystonic Reaction and I can hardly afford physio on disability pension now. So um, anyway, I just wanted to make sure I get this, even if it's just for me or if it helps someone else, you're welcome to reach out. Try and have a good day and remember that lots of breathing, lots of breath work and quiet meditations will help. Namaste.